and today has been the warm-up session. We start really early in the morning, together with, with Rafinha testing the, the paramotors, adjusting a little bit the glider and the brakes, and it's been yeah, just a super sweet session. Low wind, beautiful place. Today here we are testing all the tricks that we will do tomorrow over the fountain and uh, training the moves. Uh, we have a long day in front. We still have a lot to do. Uh, today in the morning just was uh, a warming session and everything looks to be fine. Rafini has a little problem with the engine, but we will solve it. This safety is paramount for all of these projects. And I'll show you now some of the safety devices we use on paramotors. They have two parachute systems, the main which they're flying normally, and in a case of emergency where they have a technical issue, they would use this reserve parachute. Well, Ramon, it's our light technician. He has some troubles to arrive here because in Madrid it was snowing like the hell. It was looking like Siberia. And uh, <laughs> he had some problems to, to arrive here to Dubai, but finally he did it. He just arrived. The team is here. We are ready to go. It's perfect. The winds are like four to seven knots, so fairly steady, all the same as yesterday, I would say. Well, here the challenge is that we are going to fly during the night. We will have low visibility, and we need to know the area really well before to be sure why we are flying during the night. So today was a practice day exactly for that. The challenge is to play with the fountain. Well, it's new for us to play with a fountain and such a strong streams going up 100 meters, it's a, it's a lot, no? So we have to be really prepared and really careful as well. When we're flying over water, it's also mandatory to wear a life jacket. Uh, automatic and manual inflation. In backup and support for this particular project, we always have rescue boats, uh, rescue jet skis and divers. Uh, it's important that we have multiple teams, rescue and also safety is paramount. Yesterday was not so easy because Rafinha had some troubles in his engine. Uh, we were flying at the desert in a super safe environment, so it was all good. But we needed to be sure that this was not going to happen here over the water, because here if you, you have one failure stop, then you, you go swimming, <laughs> for sure. Well, at least we could train a little bit over the desert. We could test the engines. My engine was working perfectly. And uh, we had a first approach. And uh, we got ready for today to fly over the, the point, which is the, the challenge, for sure. The motor is not working so good because the last flight from this motor is in Europe, in the high altitude. I think now I, I, I need to adjust the carburetor and the air inside the motor because here is the same level of the vessel, you know. And I think the motor is not work so good, but now my my partner Horacio and Ramon fixing this. I think tomorrow it's working super good, yeah.
My day is really hard today because yes, yesterday in the training day, everything is perfect, everything working super good. Today in the first first fly, I broke one prepare. I don't really understand what's happened. I changed the prepare, I changed a little bit the light, the system. Again, I try another takeoff. I broke again, land in the water. Yeah, I broke the motor, you know. Now it's quite difficult, quite complicated, but I have a, another backup motor. I just changed the system, the lights, and tomorrow I'm in the game, yeah. Right now I'm working with, you know, I have to try all the electronic devices after the, the pilot was falling to the water bus. I had to be, anyway, maybe this is has broken. I can see because uh, it doesn't work. I'm not sure I was not in the in the takeoff area, but anyway, I'm thinking, you know, uh, all the, we are doing is uh, it's experimental. It's very new. Uh, this system, this light system, was the first time was flying. Everything is new, and then it's part of the business. Sometimes it happens that no? we are trying to do it the best as possible, but. Uh, it happens on time, no? You know? Okay. Jump three, jump five, let's go ahead and no, what? What's happening now? The smoke system is not working. Ramon tried to fix. So why can't we get another engine? This one is ready with all the lights and with all the systems already. We only need to freeze the smoke. So ah, okay. it could take more time to prepare another one normally. Today is the uh, weather backup day, last day. Uh, winds are lower than it, the forecast, which is good for us. And uh, we had some good training in the desert today uh, to make up for the technical issues we had yesterday. Can confirm we're standing by with three circles off. This, uh, this big ass uh, Guinness World Record, so launched in Oct October 2020. Guinness World Record for uh, largest fountain over 7,300 meters squared. And actually, it's, that's only one side. We've got two. And they're not the same. <laughs> Each side is different. So even the Red Bull athletes are gonna have to study the choreography of both sides. It's super nice to finish in, a, in, in such a nice way. I mean, it's been really difficult from the beginning. Everything, no? Hard. Hard. They started it's hard. super hard, yeah. <laughs> and oh. finally, you know, after a long way, we're here. To, today was beautiful preparing everything. We were all motivated. I can say all the team has been working super hard to make it. And yeah, Rafinha as well, he has to, he has to prepare everything because he has some problems at the beginning, but it's been Finally, it's been incredible. Yeah. I mean, for me, the best feeling was to play in between the super shooters together with Rafinha because it's something we never did before. It's something completely new. It's something like really powerful, you know, coming yeah. in the sides and coming super high, you know. Yeah, it's special we in could feel, you know, like, Yeah, we could feel the energy, the air going up yeah. together with the water, so. You feel the water sometimes in the face, you know, because it's so strong. The wind comes from the sides. He spray a little bit in the paragliding, the face, it's so nice experience, so it's really, really yeah. love, yeah. Uh, we have safety team behind us, so we are feeling safe, but at the same time we have to be clever and play in a safe way yeah. as well. And I think we did it, we did it. I think. We had a... I think, a no, I'm sure. Yeah. You did it, buddy. <laughs> Cold mine. 